All right, welcome back to Quick Tips. Please excuse the background noise. My dog is tearing up his bed just behind camera, uh, but we'll carry on. Uh, so in this episode of Quick Tips, uh, we'll be talking about um, storing your gear in a rolling tool trolley. This is the one I got. Uh, this is a small black rolling tool chest. Now these are usually used in mechanics workshops uh, because you can roll all your tools over to the car that you're working on and you've got quick access to everything. And the same principle applies in a home studio or a office studio. Um, you can roll all your film equipment that fits in the drawers over to where you're shooting. Uh, say you're in uh, the white psych area of your big commercial studio. Uh, you can roll all your lenses, audio equipment, etc., over to that part of the studio. And then you go shoot product at the product table. Uh, you can put everything back in here, roll it across. So it's a nice easy way to keep all your equipment that you use regularly close to you and it can sort of follow you around as you do your day's work in the studio. So not only is this a great trolley for moving around the studio to hold your equipment, uh, but you can also put surfaces up here uh, to use as a product shooting table. I've also seen a few people who have vans for their equipment and they've got a ramp uh, so they can actually roll all their equipment in and out in one of these trolleys up the ramp into the van and pack their equipment that way. So how I used to store a lot of my equipment was I used to have it in Pelican cases on shelves. And this is just another option uh, to store my equipment. Uh, it's a bit quicker access because a Pelican case on a shelf, you've got to take the case off the shelf, undo the latches, open it up, see if you've got the right Pelican case, if the equipment's in there. This is just a bit quicker. You can just slide open a drawer, grab the piece of equipment and continue working. And those sorts of small incremental time savers uh, while shooting really add up. All right, so while Bambi is interrupting. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the trolley I've chosen. Uh, so this trolley I got on uh, factory second sale. So I saved a hundred dollars off the price. Um, and it's just got a few blemishes and uh, paint nicks and dents uh, that people won't really see. Um, if you weren't looking for them, you'd think it was a brand new trolley. So price was the main factor of choosing this one. Uh, it's quite a small uh, workshop trolley. Uh, which is all I need. It's got two larger drawers down the bottom and three smaller drawers up the top. It's got caster wheels so you can move it around wherever you want and you can lock them. And one of the important features I actually bought this for was just a minute amount more gear security. So all the drawers are locking with a key. It's no safe, it's no Fort Knox. Um, it's not gonna keep your equipment safe if a thief really wanted to steal it. It's just one tiny extra layer of security that maybe just might deter a thief. So the trolley's also got a handle on this side so you can roll it around nice and easily by the handle. I've added a power board on the handle side as well, just in case I wanna charge batteries on top. Uh, it's just attached with some Velcro. So one last important thing to mention about workshop trolleys is keep the weight towards the bottom, keep all the heavy things in the bottom drawers. Uh, that's because you don't want this tipping over and damaging all your gear. Particularly the smaller workshop trolleys, they're a bit narrow, so they could potentially tip over forward when you open a drawer, if you've got a heavy drawer coming out uh, near the top, the leverage might just pull the whole trolley over. So I've kept all my heavy stuff down the bottom and it just gets progressively lighter and lighter as you go up in drawers. That way I don't open the top drawer with something heavy in it and it tips over. So before we wrap up this episode, let's have a quick look through the drawers. If you like this episode or found it helpful or it's inspired you to get a workshop trolley uh, to store your equipment in, uh, please like the video. It just gets the video to more people. Uh, consider subscribing. I've got plenty more content just like this coming up and I'll see you on the next one.